Hello, today I will show you how to make your own force field effect in Sony Vegas. First off, you want to go to media generators and look for noise texture. Now in here, you can use any one you want, but the one I use that I like a lot is Marble 1. So click that and drag that in here. Once we got that in here, you can see that's what it looks like. Now we want to animate it. Click this. Offset. Now we're going to click this animate button. We're going to drag this to the end. This remembers a timeline. That's point A. Here's point B. Add a point B so it's moving from point A to point B in time. Click point B. You want the progress in the offset section all the way to max. Okay, so now that's moving like that. That'll look like the edge of the force field. Now, I'm going to add three effects, oh, excuse me, four effects actually. We want cookie cutter. We're going to add this twice. One, two. So you have two cookie cutters. Then, you want the brightness and contrast. Add. Then the color balance. Add. So you have these four effects. Click OK. That's what the effects look like so far. Now, what we want to do is on one of these cookie cutters, we want to click on the method and click cut away section. That will reverse it. And now we can change the size. And that's just going to make it look like that force field there. Now, on this cookie cutter, the first one, which is the outside, I like to feather the edge just a tiny bit. And the second cookie cutter, we want it to be a lot more. Maybe right there, maybe right there, it's up to you. I'm going to put it right there, I guess. Change the size. So that's about the size of the force field right there. Now, we're going to go into the contrast, and we want to increase that contrast to make the edge of the force field look a little bit more, well, better, I guess. Maybe change the brightness a little bit. Just mess around with it until you let, get it to where you want it to be. Maybe we'll put it right there. Change the contrast center a little bit. And then, the color balancer, you just choose what kind of color the force field is. Maybe this is a red force field. And looky there. Click play, and there's your force field. So that's just one example. Um, so from this point right here, you can actually go right on ahead and add your, vi excuse me, your video clip that's going to be in. But I personally would actually rather just go ahead and render it right away to make a video clip. So after you've rendered that, it looks like this. This is one I've already rendered. Then you can add in your movie clip. Now. Um, it's nice because this uh, force field, if you've rendered it, then you have it forever. You can use it in multiple times in m videos, you don't have to make it again. Um, but once you make it, you have to add the chroma keyer. So click this. Chroma keyer, this is basically the screen, key, <laughs> green screen effect. Drag this all the way to the bottom left. And then you change thresholds to make it fit in a little bit better. You know, you just mess around with it until you get it to where you want it. I kind of like it right there. So now you see you have a force field. And suppose we want to animate to make it look like it moves with them. Click this. Now I like to deselect both of these. And here, maintain aspect ratio, I always click no. That's my favorite setting to move these around. You can make them a big or small if you wish. Just maybe make it so it barely fits him. And to make it move with him, all I have to do, click near the end. Maybe we'll cut that so it's even with it. Then you're gonna animate this as well by adding a keyframe. Click on the end of the keyframe so you're at the end of point B here and you're at point B here so you can visually see it. You just move it up with him. Maybe make it smaller. You know, whatever you need to do to make it fit to fit him. There you are. And it'll 
it'll slowly shrink thin. Maybe we'll make ours a little bit smaller. Yeah, I think it looks better. And see, it'll get smaller with him. Now the last effect you might have seen in one of my videos is where this thing suddenly bursts and looks like an EMP effect or something. All I have to do is click on that point B again. Well, maybe actually we'll make it so it's a fast effect. So it only lasts about that long. So, go ahead and add another keyframe again at the end of that. And we just gotta decide where that's going to end. So it's going to be pretty big. Maybe right there. That's where it's going to end. Then you just make it fade in or out. <laughs> that looked kind of funny. Let's make sure our points look normal. I flipped it around, didn't I? Oh, oops. Okay, let's fix this. And the center right there. See, it looks like kind of like an EMP effect. You can shorten and make it quicker if you want. Looks like an EMP effect. And so that basically is how you do the force field.